ولا بد للليل ان ينجلي We're expecting Monsef Al Marzugi to arrive anytime soon, but his supporters are already here. They're chanting slogans asking for radical reforms in Tunisia. But it remains to be seen whether the young Tunisians who took to the street to overthrow Zain al Abidin Bil Ali still remember a man who spent years in exile. He's been greeted the neurologist who once ran against the former president Zain al Abidin Bin Ali. But the challenge to the authoritarian rule only led to harassment, detention, jail and forced exile. He struggled for the right words to say. How do you describe this moment, your return to Tunisia? How do you describe it? Like you see it, it's extraordinary. It's something extremely moving. Extremely moving. This shows where the, where the, 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 the Tunisian people want his freedom and he's getting it. Al Marzugi described the unity government as illegitimate, but called on the Tunisians to stay united. First, no violence, no violence. We must keep this, this revolution peaceful. This is the first thing. And then we must stay united. And many Tunisians will indeed unite behind Marzugi. Our vote for anybody but Zain al Abidin. He killed our kids and made us suffer. But others are skeptical. I don't know, Marzuki. This is the problem, you know. In 23 years, you know, they've been uh, hidden b behind those, those, all those jails, all these boundaries, and I, I really, I really don't know him. I don't know his program. I don't know what he, he wants to say. But let's give him a chance to express himself and to to say what he wants to say. Leaving no room for compromise, Marzuki said Tunisia should bring Zain al Abidin bin Ali back to meet justice. Yes, extradite from Saudi Because he's a criminal, he's not a Because the people, the, the people want him back. Because the people want him back. And do you think the next government will be able to do that? Yes, yes, we will, we will ask for his extradition. But it's too early to tell whether the Tunisians will be convinced that this man could be Tunisia's first democratically elected leader. Hashim Ahbarra, Al Jazeera, Tunis.